I want to look at how to display numbers in different bases. So I have the number 255. It's a nice, easy number to work with. Um, I've got this number right here. And I want to display it in different bases. So first of all, if I just run this code right now, uh, it displays the number 255, which is, as we know, base 10 or decimal. I can change which base is being displayed using a modifier. So I can do std and then I can do dec. And that will display it as decimal. It's already decimal, so we can just do that right now. I'm going to take this line and copy it. And I'm going to show you how to do now decimal octal. And I want to show you hexadecimal. So we'll go ahead and run these. And you can see the number 255 as decimal, octal, and hexadecimal. All right. Now, reading these, you can't obviously tell which one it is, right? So what I'm going to do is show you how to display these things now. Um, using the show base thing. So display numbers. Now I'm going to copy these lines again and this time I'm going to display them with the base first. So I can do um, STD C out and I'm going to pass it the STD show base all right so what this does is it sets it so now we're showing bases for all these numbers and it'll display all these numbers with bases i want the first three to display with the base and then the second three to display without it but we'll get to that part in a moment so i'm going to run the code and now we see these numbers 255 0 377 and then 0xff all right, if I want to um, display, display without base, I'm going to reset it right here with the same kind of command. So std cout, except instead of doing the std show base, I'm going to do std no show base, which will turn off the the show base flag. So I'm going to go ahead and run this now. And you can see the first three have the bases, and then the second three do not have the bases. The base being the zero for octal and zero x for hexadecimal. Now, this is great, but what if I want to see a number in binary? You would think there would be some kind of an STD thing up here where I could do a binary and just use bin instead. Unfortunately, um, bin isn't an option. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to include another library. So include, and this is my bit set library, bit set. And bit set allows me to create something else. So I'm going to convert this number into a bit set. And I can decide how big the bit set it is, kind of like an array or a string. So I'll do std bit set. And then I'll do num b for binary. Num b. And this one is going to be. And 8 bits because 255 in 8 bits should be four ones. Num B, and I'm going to pass it the number num. It's a lot more complex because I'm basically creating this string like thing right here and called num B, and I'm passing it the number oops, num. All right, so now I can go down here and instead of using this. Type right here, I can put in num b. And I will print my number out now. 
So we go ahead and run this. And you can see now it displays it in binary. So it's a bunch of ones, eight ones actually. I can change this number a little bit. So instead of being 255, I can make it 127, which would be a zero followed by seven ones. So I'll go ahead and run that. And I got zero followed by seven ones. I can change it again to be a different number like 63. I'll go ahead and run that which is two zeros followed by six ones. And then I can change it to much smaller numbers, um, you know, go as low as, uh, let's see, 31 maybe, because I'll still get some of the practice decimal side there. So 1F. But you can see it's uh, three zeros and five ones. So this is how you can display numbers. You can display them with the base up here, the decimal, octal, hexadecimal. You can also show them in binary using the bit set. And then you can display them also without the bases. So that's how you can look at numbers and display them with bases.